I'm Natalie Dadamio. I'm a mixed media artist, multidisciplinary artist, because I also like words as much as um, paint. And um, I don't know, it, art is, I think, everything, not just limited to objects. <laughs> I think art is like equally our heart, you know. As cheesy as that may sound, I shut the window because like this camera will pick up the traffic noise. Anyway, <laughs> here, there, everywhere. <laughs> this video is about fear. Why would we start with fear? I think that's a good place to start because um, have you ever been afraid to enter your creation or afraid to say something or afraid to show up in all your mess and um, silliness, awkwardness, craziness? Um, are you tired of fighting yourself and each other, you know, like, and another, I should say, because like, um, you know, that energy, you know, when you're going like this, I keep explaining this in my simplest terms. That doesn't get us anywhere. So when we go up here, we can see a little clearer. We can see a wider picture. Um, I think that happens in an artwork, right? Because you could be struggling and struggling and struggling to move. And sometimes you just need to let these things sit, kind of like, integrate, accumulate, not accumulate, but like acclimate to like, um, you know, what they have to say. I don't know if you listen to your artwork. Do you listen to yourself, you know, or do you listen to what everyone else says? And is it all like hitting you, right? So we're in these like times of like, you know, mass information. And I think mass manipulation too, but um, that's another story for another day and another time. And um, I, I always want to get this out of the way. It's not traditional here. <laughs> it's not typical here. It's not um, easy here. <laughs> you know, I don't want to give you the easy way. I don't even have the easy way. That's the thing. But um, it's like a... I think all of these conversations are about investigating these internal desires and drives, motivations, and um, extricating the programs that keep us from that freedom. Um, so that's what I think art is doing. Art, to me, and this is my definition, and I encourage you to make yours. Uh, because when you make your own definition, you'll be so much more clear in what you're going to do in your work. Um, it might not be as easy, um, but you'll have clarity for yourself in the direction that you're going and you'll be able to, you know, turn off all the noise. And of course, that's a constant, um, I don't want to say game, but we're constantly doing that work, that internal work, the mindset work, whether you're an artist or not, right? Because if you're just living in life right now, you you're not doing anything to fulfill yourself and raise that spirit and um look at what needs to be healed then like there is suffering there right because when we like remove and reveal something we start to feel it we start to heal it um and the best thing I think that we can be doing for ourselves is turning to the creation energy right now, turning to our creativity. And it doesn't necessarily mean you have to make paintings, although I love painting and I love drawing and I love a simple like automatic drawing process and practice for anybody, really. I encourage that investigation. And even if you're in another realm of creation and creativity, the drawing practice is so like magnifique <laughs> because you're going to build that internal connection and um, it doesn't have to be about anything uh, <laughs> I know. and even if it's just stick figures you might be find a way to put that all together in a 
unique way, you know, um, cause we're all creative and that's what I encouraged here, um, is to like find the, the places and spaces inside of us that want to be like open and unleashed in our artwork, in our creative work, in our life, right? That's what it's all about. <laughs> Um, so why do I say the best thing to do is to focus on the creation energy, the creativity, because back to this, when we're only going like this, well, where are we going? Nowhere. With ourselves, with another, with our artwork. <laughs> Sometimes that needs a drastic change and difference in order for us to like, you know, come back around to it. Or sometimes this, when you're like going through multiple cycles, and this is, I'm talking through my own experience. When I first started, like it was really bad and um, you keep moving through that, it gets better, right? And then it gets, it's getting good, but now it's bad again. It kinda, not bad again, but it's like in a struggling point. And that struggling point is because now I'm taking every, that five years and moving into like the new stuff again. And that's like, oh shit, not again. I don't wanna do this all over again. <laughs> and um, sometimes there's like the doldrums of that, like, I don't know. But the good thing is, is like I already had the five years of knowing, oh, this is what it is. It's like this new beginning, this new cycle of this work. And um, the difference is that it has more confidence in it. <laughs> That's for sure. But, but at the same time, it has like a different kind of struggle and it's hard to explain. Um, I think because the more knowledge that I obtain and like with in the technical and what I really been wanting to express, it's finally coming together. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> it's just coming together differently now because there's more awarenesses in all these areas. and But that creates a whole nother conundrum. And that often happens in our life. You know, you have, I was just telling a friend, the more awareness is almost like it's harder because well, there's more things to think about and separate out. And now you're not blindly just like making the thing you know that Oh, if I, um, you know, have too much, um, mid value, it's just going to fall flat or, you know, something like basic that maybe you didn't know, or you had a huge life experience and it's shaken you and awakened you to something beyond, well, what anyone's told you, including your teachers. So like, um, and that's happened to me and, um, <laughs> You know, that changes everything. So like when we're living and operating out from wherever these perceptions and layers and levels are, and this applies into like an artwork only because like that has its own history and trajectory depending on where you started from and depending on where you're trying to go. And like depending on like what it is that you're trying to get from it. Like so it's, there's so many variables to this whole creation process to this whole life process but how can we like center ourselves in this like wide world of possibility of creation and um be all here with even the hard stuff right i keep using the hands because it's like two hands that balance the whole that make the center line that come into you know relationship with each other um, <laughs> it's kind of what we're doing in the artwork, right? Trying to form these relationships and these conversations. And then depending on what our perception and interest is, dialing into that station and bringing it in. <laughs> so it could be like vast and varied, right? So mine just would be more intuitive, mystical, abstract, you know. Um, I see the pain process as shamanic. I have a shamanic history like background energetic background that's influencing what I do you know I tried to deny it for a bit um <laughs> you know but you can't really take your life journey out of the art but sometimes like these parts are hard to bring out into the 
view or to like speak into or we're afraid because I know this all too well um and or we're fighting ourselves uh, instead of just like opening to more and sometimes the o in the opening it means like addressing that mess you know oh nobody really wants to do that I didn't want to do that until I was forced to and I guess in my um greatest demise and crumbling and loss of identity the biggest gift was that I had to look at it all I had to feel it all and it was really challenging and um the reason why I'm making these videos is because like there's a lot of that energy now here moving through us all in different ways and nobody is really immune to it and this is my personal opinion of where I've been traveling <laughs> and what I feel you know um, and I don't know, like, if, I think when you find out that, like, another person's had this experience or you, and then there's, you build this relation, and, um, it becomes, like, safer to express, and, um, I think that's why I loved, you know, the, my art journey, because I was taught, you know, that um, it was safe to be myself, but I didn't trust it in the very beginning, but I was able to be in the space and it was like modeled for me. And within that, like say holding cell, I'm making art and learning about it, but I'm also like getting all this other stuff, you know, um, and it really has impacted me and informed my journey, and including my spirituality and my personal like life stuff, right? So, but how can I, I need to bring it all here in order to be fully myself. Um, like all of it together informs the whole. It's kind of like maybe you have disparaging parts in the painting, like drawing elements, um, collage, you know, you gotta bring it all together in order to make up the whole picture. And that's kind of what we're doing when we bring the sides of ourselves back here and just be what it is, you know. And um, we're not modeled that, I think, to be that. And also our histories and traumas and abuses and whatever we maybe live through, like, you know, it's a shot, you can be shut down and it's scary to open, right? It, I mean, I, I didn't have the best time in the beginning. Um, and it came in stages. Same thing with the arm making, it's stages. And, um, but we want to like try to get the thing, right? Or get to the like final moment. But really, there isn't a final moment. It's just like another iteration of where we've been. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, what do they say? Like, before enlightenment shop would carry water after enlightenment shop would carry water um well like it, there's still the mundane task to do <laughs> um, you know and of course it's easier to be um fully present and aligned when you're not like interacting with the stuff right <laughs> you just shut yourself off <laughs> and like um I don't know, but that's not really the reality of anything. <laughs> we, we all need the interaction. Um, and that's the other reason we're making these videos, you know, is like, I know what it's like desperately to be alone and abandoned. And it's like an intricate wovenly pattern in my life. Um, and it's been challenging. Um, and, but like in the same set token, the best... Um, the hardest job is complete kind of isolation and you, you learn how to be with yourself I think is it's like the greatest spiritual teaching to me because like you if you're showing up every day to the moment like you're you're gonna see everything <laughs> and um it's just but you're, what's cool about it to me is like you're also gonna like find your way out of the thing and um if you do show up like daily or almost daily i it's not perfect nothing is really although there is that divine perfection right that we already have but um some days are messy but you could see what you're made of you can see where the art wants to take you you can see 
you know, like, oh, <laughs> sometimes like when you enter in like a sad moment or an angry moment, it doesn't always turn out that way. Um, that's been my interest and in, when I started to notice that early on, I was like, oh, things aren't always as they seem. It's a very important theme and message in um, like my work and like even in my delivery and where I am like traveling in this universe at, at this time. <laughs> um, and I like to speak more into that because um, we can be blinded so easily to ourselves, to another, to life. Um, but um, sometimes when the crash comes, it, it, like it, it, the revealing happens and it, the awakening isn't found in the, um, <laughs> the <laughs> not all the time, like the, the, the like, doo -doo, like the lightness and the airiness. It's actually the, it's in that, like the work we don't want to do. <laughs> it's in that crumbling. It's in that destruction um, where the rising happens, where the phoenix eventually is returned and reborn. Um, <laughs> but um and that is i think it happens in our work all the time like i don't know it doesn't have to be that metaphorical to look at the work as the phoenix rising but um it's just about like sometimes you kind of have to destroy a piece in order to get to the new and cycle and sometimes like we have a death to ourselves in life in order to bring in what maybe we've been holding or hiding or, you know, um, move the energy and the emotion through us. So we're actually feeling it and grounding it here instead of like detaching and separating out and like kind of disassociating. Um, when you're not like fully present with everything, it's easy to get like blinded. And that's all I could say. And that's all I could say from my personal experience. So like, what do, what do these spiritual concepts in my life story have to do with like art or making creativity in the artist? Well, um, because it's how the artist returned for me. And at the same time, it's, um, it's like very important for me to speak into these points right now. Even though it doesn't like make sense to fit, how do I fit this in or what do I do? Just like throwing all that out the window. <laughs> Goodbye. You know, like um, I feel that feels more like free because I'm not like trying to like now like, oh, I got to only do this the way and like I just can go like this. Oh, thank goodness. I'm not like trying to like do this I guess with like with the artworks and with the ideas and with the words it's just like this is more of the reality of what the situation is and this is how I see the artwork and this is how I see art and creativity and I'm not sure if I ever gave you the definition of like you know how I see the art and how I see the artist it's about like that revealing and um for me, it is energetic and it is shamanic because you're able to like kind of pull in anything that's intuitive in that sense because maybe you're sensing and feeling the form and the color and the shape and like the kind of like working it through you. And um, it's emotional because how can it not be? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I mean, that's the only way I know it to be. Um, and, but that was, once I defined that, and it was only this year, that it's emotional first, and then everything else follows suit. Like, like, I mean, everything. Let's change my relationship to the work. Oh, it really has. And um, then I just allow myself to go even farther in of what I'm feeling, and, um, that is often scary, but it's also very exciting. And I saw at the end of my 100 day project this year that like, I I not only saw it, but I felt it like all, I can't explain it. That's one thing I can't explain. Um, but I mean, I think and ultimately art 
creativity has the ability to free us in so many ways and I look at it as kind of a rebellion to like um what's going on right you know because um you create something from nothing that's like such a powerful act now and that's with a painting right or or whatever creation you're doing but just apply that into life you have a power to move yourself through these times you have the power to come online and align with well i would say the divine that's what they want to say but um <laughs> and that energy and then you're up here looking down and you're not here you know and sometimes you'll probably go back here because you know we're living in life and um nothing is really wrong it's just what you want to choose same thing in a painting right because like there's so many rule rules principles techniques um ideas about how it should be from whoever conceived it long ago or still holds that key but like art to me was never about trying to fit into the structure in the system. I didn't ever see like the early Abex artists. I don't think that's what they were doing. They were coming into that and making them these statements, these deep statements about the times. Um, so that's another thing that we can do with our artwork and our creativity. And like, it doesn't have to necessarily be anything more than just like, maybe you're just expressing it you know in this book and no one's seeing it um but you're still getting it out you know you're getting out that emotion you're getting out that energy you're getting out the um ideas uh, and oftentimes it is messy and i don't think there's really a right or wrong way it's just like if you're gonna play in certain parameters of a game then you kind of have to take it on and um, that can be the challenging part because it's like, do you want to play the game? Do you want to like crash the game? Do you want to create your own game? <laughs> like there's so many variables, the idea of like, what are you trying to do? And that's an individual personal thing to entertain because that could change everything. If you have like one thought or phrase that like doesn't really align with something, then all of a sudden, poof, like that's where it collapses and then you're kind of like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> I could do anything. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> I'm laughing because I think I I think I had it all backwards on some level, like trying to fit myself into these forms instead of just like opening to more of what is internally already in my history and experience and what's informing me now and bringing that into everything I do. And I think that's been a big shift for me and it hasn't been easy. Um, none of this is really easy, <laughs> um, but it is worth it. Um, and if you're like alive, you have a choice. We can decide like what we're going to do and how we're going to entertain these ideas. And um, I think everyone has like, maybe different ideas of what is quote right, but um, that's when we can respect the sovereignty of each other and you know, move deeper into our creations or what we're called to create. You know, it, it can be more than just the painting, it, it often is. Um, and like what we, how we wanna like build up each other, the world and like offer that creation energy back. Um, you know, like, it's a pretty big thing and theme and, um, fear gets in the way and, our mind also really <laughs> can get in the way. I keep doing this or they keep, it's a really easy example of, you know, when you're arguing with that or you're like in resistance to yourself or you know, you're like, ah, oh, you're so wrong. But it's just like this. It doesn't really, it doesn't really do anything. What is it? Buckminster Fuller said that, um, 
you know, we have to create, you can't create from um, the existing reality. You have to like collapse it and like um, go like beyond. And, and I'm paraphrasing that quote. I'll find it and put it in the notes. But um, I kind of align with that idea. And from what I've been shown and in my life that I've lived is like, in, in my personal like journey is like, <laughs> it, it didn't really, um, you know, start to open until like I started to like, kind of like, instead of this, you know, like this. <laughs> There's a, you know, these are real simple like motions and ideas and maybe it seems silly to you, but you know, just try it for yourself, do this and then do that and you'll feel the difference. Um, <laughs> Um, sometimes the simplest teaching it can be really profound. <laughs> it's not necessarily in all that, like, um, whatever. I mean, even though I have a lot of, I think, abstraction and depth, you know, and which you can get lost in. It, but it's always designed to bring us somewhere, including myself, right? Because I have to listen to everything I receive and I'm not always the best steward of my own <laughs> soul <laughs> and what it's saying. Um, and that's a good example and point is that like no matter how much awareness is there, we're all moving through these things all the time. And no matter like how far we've come, there's always new challenges that present themselves a lot of times unexpectedly. <sighs> I'm si let's just sigh that out. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but are you gonna like lie down if you've come this far? No. And that's what I <laughs> at least for me. I mean, I have a history of quitting, so like and giving up real easily. But this time, the difference is, oh no, we're gonna figure this out. You know, I think. You know, it's all it's all up to like the way you want to do it. Um, so what do you choose, and um, what direction do you want to take yourself in, and do you like this idea of opening? Um, and like thinking beyond what it is or what it seems, and art to me really teaches us that it's never what it seems because it's always changing and rearranging and um i love it <laughs> i do it has so many great like teaching elements w within it and i think it's easy for me to connect it all because of the life i've lived and um it that's my highest excitement and that's where i'm going with this whole channel and direction and guiding others into is that freedom and of creation and the the remembering that we are creation itself right and um we can align with it we can start to look we can start to feel safer in our bodies you know in our creations in our words we can realize that it takes time and to integrate some things and it is a journey and um learn to celebrate where we are even in the hard times, but um, we can look at hard times and uh, like be like, whoa, those are hard times, right? They're over there. And we can like turn our attention to like, oh, what do we want to create? You know, because like, you know, we don't have to abandon that or ignore it or bypass it, but we can just be like, whoa, I don't know if I want to like pick all that up and put it in me and take it on, right? that's the difference it's like you just it's just a choice it's just a choice just like you pick a color you know um it's like what color do you choose <laughs> there's so many <laughs> maybe you don't want any colors it's fine <laughs> um <laughs> those are just like silly points um i hope you're He's still here with me. <laughs> um, what I just want to bring out is that uh, honesty of expression, you know, and um, for you to feel safe, because I didn't feel safe for a really long time and still time, still, I'm still in fear sometimes, depending on the day. 
and sometimes I am falling apart just as much as you might be right now. Um, today I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. Luckily. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, it happens to the best of us and, um, but I know we can survive because I have survived a lot of things and I know we can return to our art and creativity, you know, I, cause I have, <laughs> and I, and, um, sometimes we think we're not doing it because it doesn't look the way we want it to. But then when you stop and think and look back and see how far you come and look at what you're doing now, you're like, Oh yeah, I'm doing it and I'm doing it my way. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, just rest in knowing that, like, that as long as you're moving forward, you are moving towards your expression, your way, um, your creation, and, um, we all have the right to that, you know? That's what I, um, really have learned from my art teachers and my spiritual teachers. And that, I think that's just so, I just want to be a steward of that um that gift you know that i've received and and that's what compels me past my fear and doubt and worry and whatever else is going on <laughs> um vulnerability is a big piece right um i could talk more about that some other day the vulnerability because i think vulnerability gets confused um um that's another story for another day there's so many stories for other days if you've made it this far, thank you um, for you know tuning in. Um, these are kind of off the cuff, just um, don't really edit them, you know. Uh, but you know, I'm just trying to find my way in this process myself, and like kind of force myself to come out. Um, because it hasn't been easy, and um. Yeah, but it feels good when I'm just expressing like what I know in my soul and in my heart, you know, and um, it, whether that's in the art or in these exchanges and um, it's not really about me in the end. Um, <laughs> so, you know, if you're having a hard time right now, just, you know, you, sometimes we do need to like take the time and we shouldn't force ourselves into it like um it but like it's important to notice like the the um if you have a desire and then like or and you're just like kind of shrinking back because you know you're afraid that's a different thing than just needing the time um and that's what happens with these subtle layers of awareness and the more separation that we get in when we like kind of get into our own lane we start to be able to ascertain and like see that um okay today I need to like just do this or I do need to do all of this because it's like popping off left and right woo you know like so it's all about noticing that and I'm like allowing it to be what it is and it can be like so many things. Um, so <laughs> that's why I'm here <laughs> to like share in the like those sides, maybe the sides we don't always say. Um, I'm interested in that because it feels more real for one. <laughs> and then I feel like then I can then relate and resonate to like people who can understand and see me too. So I, um, as much as I fear the abandonment and the rejection and being deleted in life, I also really want to turn the wheel and like go into what I know is true for me um, in my artwork and in my life. And, um, you know, we can all do that and still respect all the many different forms that are out there. And um, that's what like a lot of my work is about is entering into that communion and offering and becoming the medicine and sharing in that, um, and all of that, you know, <laughs> and I'm still learning <laughs> just as much as you. So, um, if you're interested in more of these conversations, 
um well just hit subscribe and um yeah just stay tuned right stay tuned to your internal state stay tuned to what's going on around you follow what feels good follow what resonates right now um you know if you feel like you need to fight fight if you feel like that isn't working anymore then you know relax into being um see what else is there maybe go beyond what we you see in your artwork or in your life and um record that um it can become the embodied experience of your creation you know <laughs> that's where the revelation and the revolution starts to take place and it's like an internal process anyway i've said enough for today i'm natalie dadamio and uh, my new website's coming um but i'm over on instagram at natalie.dadamio.art so just find me in the social media realms. <laughs>